Hi everybody, it's Miss Lewis again. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, Mr. Frank and Mr. Bennett challenged us to a two for Tuesday and that's to learn two new things um, every Tuesday. So I have two teenage daughters at home and I'm always wanting them to be self-sufficient women. So I try to teach them things about their um, maintaining their cars. One of the things I want to teach them and I have taught them is how to check the air level or air pressure level and their tires. So this is something I'm gonna teach you today. The first thing you need to do is you need to have a tire pressure gauge and it's a really simple tool. Um, these are very inexpensive and you can get these at any uh, auto repair store uh, or parts store and also you know Walmart, Target or wherever. Uh, in addition to that, if you go to a convenience store that has air, uh, they will have a gauge on the pump and you can check it there also. The first thing that you do is you need to know what your level needs to be in your tires and this will fluctuate by the season. So a lot of times you'll get a low tire alert uh, when it gets cold outside and this is all because of shrinkage and expanding or expansion based on the season, whether it's hot or cold. Um, but you need to know exactly what that needs to be. And that is that level is a PSI and that's what you're looking for. There are two ways to find out what your PSI is. Number one, you can Google it. You can look at your tire, and in these, this particular case, this is a Bridgestone 60R18, and you can Google that, and it will tell you exactly what your PSI needs to be. And the second way is to look somewhere marked on the tire. It's really tiny, but you'll see this one is 44 PSI. So it'll tell you exactly what that needs to be for this tire. So the next thing you do is you unscrew the, the cap from the stem. And that's really simple to do. And the minute you do that, you're just gonna make sure that you lay this cap down where you know exactly where it is. It's so easy to forget to put those back on, uh, but you lay that where you can easily find it and not lose it. Second thing is, is you take this part of the gauge and you put this on the stem until you hear air come out, but you need to try to get a seal on it. Once you get a good seal, you will see that the measurement comes out at the end and you will know exactly what that measurement is. So this one looks like it's probably about around 35 PSI. So this tire is actually a little bit low. Um, it's supposed, supposed to be at 44. Now these are a little bit inaccurate, so I'd recommend doing it twice, maybe even three times. So you can see that my measurement ends up being about 35 again. So I'll do it a third time. And again, it comes out about the same. So probably I need to go ahead and put air in my tires. So for now, because I don't have that at home, I'm gonna put the cap back on and I'm gonna to go to the nearest convenience store that has air. Um, most of them do cost now, it'll cost um, usually quarters only. Um, and all you would do is fill this up and check it as you go. So put a little bit of air in it and then check it, put a little bit of air in it, check it until you get it to the right amount. That's it. This is one more thing that you just learned today on Two for Tuesday.